here we go. Say all these, oh, Percy, I wish I could have been there with you in the 60s. And I said, no, you don't. No, you don't. Be happy with what you have today. Thank you all for coming and celebrating this monumentous and historical recognition of Cousin Brucey tonight. And I want to say to you from all of us that the best is yet to come. Congratulations, Cousin Brucey. We put together this video tribute to Bernie. The passing of Bernard McGurk, the commemoration, the good times, the great times. Bernard McGurk, husband, father, and our friend. My night. A lady up ahead waved to flag me down. She got in a delight. We thought Bernard McGurk was good on the radio, man. He was good. He was ten times better in person. You look like a freaking bank teller today. I do a little bit, right? Yes, with that vest. Oh, you look, right? but you look, you look good. Thank Don't you. get me wrong. Bernard McGurk was the best man I've ever met. It was such a beautiful venue setting uh, along the ocean. It was just so nice for my lovely son. I'm so happy. I'm so happy he's happy. And he's now, after uh, long years of work with his uh, beautiful bride, and I uh, couldn't be happier. Bernie, we love you. We also have Scott Herman, chairman of the Broadcasters Foundation of America, who wants to recognize Bernie McGurk by presenting a plaque to Carol McGurk, wife and family for his contributions to the broadcasting industry. A smile seemed to come to her slowly. It was a sad smile just to say. Hello! Tonight, as you all can well imagine, is an amazing night for not only the city of New York and WABC, but the man we're honoring tonight I had the privilege of meeting him, 1961, I was 16 years old. I'm 79 years old now. I'm having the honor of being able to pay tribute tonight with all the performers that are here to perform for him. Of course, we talk about New York's own cousin Brucey, Bruce Mara. How about a hand for him tonight to start? Cousin Brucey, it's not just the records that you play, it's the hearts that you touch. You have touched the hearts of New Yorkers since I met you at Palisades Amusement Park, 1961. Tonight, at one point in this show, I'm gonna have the nerve to wear the leopard skin jacket that you wore. I don't think it'll fit me, but I'll do the best I can. And I just want you to know as an entertainer, you have inspired me. You have allowed me to be on this great network. You were the one that brought my, t my attention to John and Margo to be part of the uh, WABC family. As I retire next year, it will be my last year. As I retire, I can think of no better way than to look at you and say, thank you for Ty Yellow Ribbon. Thank you for Knock Three Times. Thank you for Candida. Thank you for He Don't Love You. Thank you for a career, all because of you. I love you. If it wasn't for me giving a chance to sing for him at the Feast of San Gennaro, I wouldn't be part of the WABC Radio family. Bruce, I love you. And one of the things I look forward to are our weekly conversations. We share music, we share stories. And um, it's just an honor to be on the radio before you each and every week. I want to share something with all of you that happened. I was asked by John and Margo if we can get some of our performer friends to do a video and praise this man who's given us all a career. I swear to you, this is the truth. Not one of these performers hesitated. In fact, they all, every single one of them, couldn't wait to make a video. So everybody in the room, if you don't mind, look at the video screens and listen to this great montage of entertainers for you, Cousin Brucey. If you don't mind. 
Hi, this Watch is Lee Greenwood. I want to add my congratulations to Cousin Brucey for being the greatest DJ in America for seven decades. Thanks for spinning records that made me famous. You see him behind me on the wall. That was all your work. I wish I could be there September 7th to share in the joy. Have a great night. And again, congratulations. For over an incredible 60 years, this remarkable radio DJ has graced the airwaves, not just as an exceptional talent, but also as a cherished friend and mentor. I remember first meeting Cousin Brucey in 1965 at an ABC studio in New York City. We were going to kidnap him to come and see us at a club we were playing, and then we found out he was six foot three. From that day to today, he has continuously been there to support everything that I and the Rascals have done. Your impact on the industry and our hearts is immeasurable. Put your hand Cousin Lucy. More importantly, my brother Lucy. Here we are so, so many years later, Bruce. And I can't believe that we've made it through this amazing business that has been so good to us. And I can't believe the love and the loyalty of people, your fans, all of us artists, for everything that you've done for us, but for being there in such an honest and loyal fashion. Bruce, I wish you many, many more years. You're someone who's taken his time and given it to people and shared it with people. We wanted to give you this award because it's a special award that we came up with at 77 WABC. John and Margot said it has to be the right award for Cousin Brucey. So 77 WABC Radio recognizes Cousin Brucey as a pioneer in the music industry. September 7th, 2023, a monumental figure uniting generations through the power of music. Thank you for everything you've done for all of us in this room, Cousin Brucey. It really is a special moment for you here, and thank you. Can you come up on stage? We have another gift we'd like to present you with. Hi everybody, Cousin Brucey here. Wow. There you go. How are you? Believe it or not, John and Margot and Chad, when this came out, I was not on the radio. I swear. Even though a lot of people think Marconi and I had something to do with it. No, we didn't. This is the most amazing. I love this so much. You know, it's funny. I, I was saying to Jody, my wife Jody, uh, before this happened, I said, wonder, hope they're not going to give me a plaque. I don't want any plaques. That belongs in my dentist's office. I don't want the plaques, you know. But leave it to you guys to come up with a symbol that means so much to what I do and to what the audience receives and what we do on WABC Radio. I'm indebted to you guys. I'll always remember the love and the affection when you first started calling me on the phone just to request things from your car on a Saturday night, I didn't know who the heck you were. Boy, did I find out in the years to come. Thank you so much. I accept this on behalf of a great radio station, 102 years old, all right? I accept this more important than the anniversary of WABC. I accept this, my friends, on behalf of the greatest audience ever, ever in the world. Our audience on Music Radio 77. Thank you so much. What a tribute. Thank you. Oh, you are. Cousin Brucey, you are not only a household name. You are a worldwide known lover of people. You show your soul 
and kindness and you make people feel so good and have such comfort. You make them very happy by your kindness. You simply are so amazing. And we love you very much. And we are privileged to have you on our station every week. So thank you. And we love you and congratulations. Cousin Brucey, I only have one request tonight. Palisades Amusement Park. <laughs> skip the father and skip the fuss. Take a public service bus. Public service sure is great. Take it right up to the gate. Palisades Park, that's it. You know what we're gonna do with this? Can we keep this at WABC in my studio that you gave me? I, that's what I wanted, okay? Thank you so much. Hey, thank you so much, everybody, for this great honor. All my dear friends here, all my good personal friends, and of course, everybody from the business. What a great honor, what an amazing feeling. I don't know, I read the resume you guys sent out today. I looked at it and I said, who the hell did all that stuff? And I didn't recognize half of it, but I guess somehow all these years it added up. And I am so thrilled to be part of the family, your family. The governor of the state of New York has a presentation for WABC. The governor has a presentation for WABC. Good evening, everyone. In my spare time, I write really long proclamations. And I'm a good enough politician to know that not a soul in this room wants me to read it, but it does congratulate an extraordinary institution, WABC, on 102 years of existence and bringing diverse voices together. How about that in this country, in this time of division? This is a unifying force because we all love our country, we love our state, and one thing I also can say, we love John Casamitidis. I also want to wish him a happy birthday, John Casamitidis. Bravo, Governor. Thank you. Thank you, John. So, everybody get ready. You've heard me say it. Get ready for one incredible stage performer and my good friend, the one and only Mr. Joe Piscopo. Hey, everybody, I want you singing this together. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Joseph. New York, New York. New York. Wake up. I want to wake up. Wake up. In a city. In a city that doesn't sleep. That never sleeps. To find that I'm number one. Number one. Top of that list. WABC. Of that head. 